my god. All right, there must be another puzzle that we can use a connector from. Uh, one of those uh, grab things from. Where though? There's no puzzles around here. Actually, the um, star statue might actually block this. logically. That's there. We'd have to see that from over here. That one's four, LB. Oh, okay. So you're saying it's not to do with the star. Also, like looking at that from here, almost looks like a rudimentary primal version of Mount Rushmore. Oh, it shouldn't be there. Okay. So, I have an idea. Like that laser is not hitting that connector. Annoyingly. Is now. I just noticed that when I like, went past it before, but I thought I'd check it out since I came back, but. Seems like a weird corridor to have. 
Okay, so. Yada yada yada. We take. She's blue here. Please, game. Thank you. The honest philosopher is rewarded with poison. The hypocrite is rewarded with power. All right. Time to ascend the tower. Frogs. First of all, we need to order some pizza. Also, I think I am, yeah, no one back here. I need to be around the front. Let's say. Uh, Save as a slice LB. Um, this is my favorite. Seems a bit counterintuitive counter to. Um, I think I've only got like one move I can make, so. Do that, that. Do that. Just do that or that. Sorry, with that.
feel like that's what I had before. That's not right. Say you don't know if I like it. How how will you know if you don't uh, get it in for us? Save it. Again. Well, this looks a bit different. Looks very different. Sure, we don't miss anything. I hadn't even noticed that, to be fair, Team Spin. The philosopher Stratton of Stagira had little respect for the gods and instead placed his faith in Prometheus. Driven by hubris, he asked questions that must not be asked and revealed secrets that should have remained hidden. It is said that for these offenses, he was put to death by the people of his city. Can you see the folly of his actions? say that there's no folly in pursuing the truth it was only his methods that were mistaken then what methods do you propose he should have used Not recruited others in secret. That's dishonest. They are more diplomatic. Many came before Stratton whose methods were gentler. They achieved nothing. His folly was not born of ignorance, but it was folly nonetheless. Consider this as you approach the flame. You see this? And yet entire empires have been built on dreams, lies, and illusions. Would they have been better if they were built on a foundation of truth? Possibly not. Dreams are true, bull. Yeah, some, not all, so that's potential. Um, but yeah, we, we could say where are those empires now because obviously insinuating that they were all kind of, yeah. Sorry, my articulation there was terrible. They are ashes and dust. But do you truly believe that a world built on truth? would fare differently. Worth trying. I used to think so too, I... No. No. All is lost. Oh, we nearly tapped into her, like... sensitive side almost there. It's interesting. was surprisingly calm, given how aggressive Pandora has been elsewhere. 
I didn't think she'd even want to talk to you. I've toyed with the idea that the entities might be epiphenomenal in some way. Instead of causing the changes in the system, maybe they just respond to them. All right, we are done in S2. And Dora told you something interesting. S3, we go. Circular Oasis. I remember when I was quite young, I was having trouble figuring out what I wanted to do. I wanted to see the outside world, but even back then, that wasn't really encouraged. I ran into Byron on Jameson Avenue, completely by accident, and I was too nervous to talk to him. I mean, he was one of the first companions. But he noticed me, and we started talking, and he was really encouraging. Introduced me to Garrus, and took me along on an expedition to the quarries and the mountains. Whatever flaws he may have, Byron cares about people. He changed my life. Yep, that's Byron in a nutshell. Here it looks like there should be an anti-gravity elevator, but it's locked down. I'll need you to connect to the data stream again. I'm really sorry, 1K. I know it's a risk, but I think it'll be worth it. Do you now? And go anywhere and do anything, really. Have you seen Miranda's design for a transport system that would connect all the labs to the machine? It's amazing, isn't it? I think she's really excited about showing this place to people one day. She also kept asking me about what kind of monuments we could build, you know? To really transform the landscape, show the possibilities. But her capsules only fit one person. It's just the first iteration. Give her some time. She'll figure it out. Remember how many mistakes we made in the beginning, even with all the blueprints we had? But that's not my point. It just worries me that she lacks context. Her imagination is incredible, but it's still limited by what she hasn't experienced. Would it have been better if she'd been raised in New Jerusalem? If her mind was limited by self-hate and decay? If all she could imagine was sitting around, ignoring the universe in favor of self-righteous solipsism? No, but... I don't know. Oh, sorry. You're not wrong. We can't stay hidden forever. There are no words, just death. I found the there lab. are entirely too many strange things going on around here. No, no, I, I saw those words, but I was like, there was no in the beginning, there were the words. What now have I had to say? Maybe this is the laboratory that, uh, Eleven broke out. Strange things indeed. A 
And it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, because this, because that Tyrus hath said against Jerusalem, Aha, she is broken, that was the gates of the people. She is turned unto me. I shall be replenished. Now she is laid waste. Therefore the slain the God, the Lord God. Behold, I am against thee, O Tyrus, and will cause many nations to come up against thee, as the sea cause, causeth his waves to come up. And they shall destroy all the walls of Tyrus and break down her towers. I will also scrape her dust from her and make her like the top of a rock. It shall be a place for the spreading of nests in the midst of the sea, for I have spoken it, saith, saith the Lord, the Lord God, and it shall become the spoil to the nations. And her daughters which are in the field shall be slain by the sword, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Yikes. Is that an actual picture? Ah, interesting. Perhaps fa perhaps faith is never choice or nor submission, perhaps faith is demanded. For our pain to have meaning, for the stories of the world to rhyme, for a world designed by a loving hand. Perhaps I'll believe this with defiance, in the forgiveness of all the si of all sins, in the kingdom of God on earth, and even the resurrection of the dead. I'll believe with clenched fists and gritted teeth and prayers that refuse to be gentle. Who that's by? Not even a uh, title or anything. Unauthorized trial at secondary site. Unauthorized trial. Catastrophic failure. She's gone. Look at that trial number. Look at that trial. Exactly, LB. What? Okay, so when it says she's gone, is she, uh, is Athena referring to the lab? That the lab's gone? Or is she referring to possibly Miranda? And Miranda's gone. Oh, we gotta do real quick. I mean, I know it's not really... doesn't really always give a lot away, but... I mean, if it's Miranda, that begs the question, like, what were they actually trying to do here? O oh, death, why is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? I feel like I've heard that before. I feel like that's like part of a hymn or something. But... Alright. Overload. It's over. We failed. Everything we thought we were doing. It's all ashes now. I don't think you really believe that. She's gone, Cornelius. She's gone because I failed her. She's gone because the machine that I built killed her. She was perfect. And now, she's nothing. I know you don't want to hear this. I know you want her to be perfect, to be blameless. But you didn't kill her, Athena. She killed herself. She killed herself because she was reckless, because she was naive. And frankly, because she was a little arrogant, too. She was reckless because I filled her head with dreams. Dreams of the future, of a better world. A world that nobody wants. No, no. It's not the dreams that killed her. It's that we brought her here. 
It's that we tried to build all this outside the city. We raised her without people, without society. The wilderness is for prophets, Athena, not for children. We should have stayed, fought for our ideas. It's too late now. It's too late. Wow. They lost their daughter. Right here in this ruin, Cornelius and Athena lost their daughter. Miranda's dead. So even the Founder doesn't have perfect control over this technology. Even the Founder makes mistakes. Byron was right in a way. We turned the Founder into something she never was. She was never perfect. She was never infallible. No one is. Listen, I understand why you and Byron see so much hope in this technology. You want us to be better, to grow. But what if it all goes wrong? If even the founder couldn't get it right, what hope do we have? It's interesting though that like, I agree with what you could say and it's like put too much faith in the founder, but aren't they kind of doing the same to me given that there was this whole prophecy of like 1,000 is the magic number and you know, number 1,000 is going to be like the greatest and best thing ever. Um, but also, like, he says there that the founder wasn't perfect, but I kind of feel like the more citizen, and this is kind of like a, a way, of, for me, this is like a reason to continue to grow the population past 1,000. The more like citizens they have in their community and their environment the more people learn from each other and then almost like the more perfect a society they can they can become because they've basically just got like the base kind of i don't know what you call it like the base consciousness that was from the talus one inside them and then they learn from there so yeah um interesting you know we they i think what they need to like understand is like everybody's like on a level and then it's what they do with their time once they've been born that really defines them as people. We'll call them people for now. Um, I mean, yeah, mistakes happen. But what if one mistake is enough? One mistake was enough to kill Miranda. And the energy readings from inside the megastructure are insane. What if we try to use it and blow a hole in the planet? I mean, I don't think that's like one mistake has killed Miranda. And I kind of agree with what Athena and Cornelius were talking about there. Like, she's got, she's been born into this world and she's like full of wonder and she wants to just explore everything and understand everything. And her naivety of like how the world is and how everything works, I think, has ultimately got her killed. She thought she was kind of like safer and, um, you know, almost like, not to sound like she was like big headed about it, but like nothing could harm her kind of thing. It's just the three of them and they're in this environment and she understands everything. And I just, yeah, I think, like I say, agreeing with Athena and Cornelius. A lot of what happened, I, I believe, could be down to naivety. Um, yeah, I mean, that's true. These, these two are very shouting at me at the minute. One of these three, I think. So?
power control we have, the more prepared we are. Uh, possibly. Some people argue we should just accept natural disasters as part of life. I mean, yeah. I mean, our disasters are less natural. Or no less natural. Well, our disasters are because I feel like we're toying with stuff and playing with stuff we not necessarily don't need to. That's just being a bit, like, ignorant. And I don't want to call him stupid. I feel like I've dug myself into a bit of a hole here. Um. <sighs> don't really like any of these answers. You're right. Sorry, that was a bad argument. I guess finding out Miranda's dead really shook me. You shouldn't change the She had such a hopeful way of looking at the world and to think that's all gone. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. The truth is, lately, I sometimes feel kind of lost. The universe is vast and threatening. History is depressing and I need something to hold on to. Something other than fear. I have to figure out what that is. I hope. Thanks for your help, Bonkai. The elevator should be working now. And your coot. I'm sorry about Miranda. I know you're looking forward to meeting her. Let's go on a little walk. Do, 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 do. do go and find secret stuff. Do, do, do. such as this one commonly used to play games in public fora particular unit allowed you users to play serious sam <laughs> a well regarded but less known follow-up to crow team's hugely popular football glory series <laughs> yes yeah, like, i'm talking to you i'm talking to you i'm talking to you actually i don't know what i've just said i'm going to reset this conversation let's start again Movable panels. Interesting. somewhere. It's 
there. Okay. <laughs> you solved the puzzle you didn't realize till several minutes later. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we have a soft lock. <laughs> Yo, ascendance. What's going on? How we doing? Hope you're well. Wisdom teeth removed. Yikes. That uh, does not sound like fun. See, what I was thinking initially... Initially, because obviously I did some stuff and my own things, but yeah, we can kind of do that. Need to Hold on. 
think I see. At this point, LB have decided we still have to solve some more of the puzzle. The particle clouds continue to be exactly the same. Alrighty, one down. We're all going to die. Ah! What happened to Miranda, the founder's own daughter? The megastructure is going to kill us all. Get a grip. This is absurd. Also disrespectful to Miranda and her parents. Who cares? She's dead. They're probably dead too. We're all dead. If that thing blows up, it could collapse the whole world into a singularity. You really should calm down, Fred. There's a legitimate point buried in what you're saying, but panicking isn't going to help anyone. It is quite frightening, though. The images we saw of the lab. It's like the laws of physics themselves have been damaged. None of you understand. We have to listen to Pandora or we will burn. Fred, why don't you come by the shop app? Shop for a chat. I have something that could help with your all caps. Thank you, Helga. Closing the thread now. Interesting how like none of them seem to want my opinion anymore. Or I don't have an option to give any input. That line there is probably where, like, the... I don't know. Running across the desert. Looking for hidden things. Dare do that to me. I mean, I guess with it like being so open, it's pretty easy to see the whole area, so I don't think we need to worry too much about that. So Ooh, Melville. Yes. Yes. From examining the data, I think it simply came down to not taking enough precautions. Clearly, protocols existed that would prevent such accidents, but she didn't apply them. That's a technical answer. If you're looking for something more philosophical, I think it's easy to mistake insight for revelation. She thought she was meant to discover something, as if there was some force guiding her, and so she discounted the outcomes that didn't match her expectations. Oh, look, we have a red one this time. Um, um, there's a hole in the sky. there you can, it is on the screen if i stand still it kind of fades away but yeah if i keep moving my mouse it's like the little 
Could be the sun. Uh, I guess, yeah. Alright, let's get back to some puzzle solving because um, time is not on our side. Circuitry. Interesting. I mean, that's the middle part, right? I'd assume as I'm looking at it from this, the top here. Alright. Secrets can wait. Secret can wait, but I'm intrigued. Oh, I'll never, I'll never like hang myself, will I? Like, seriously. this actually, not that one. That's one. be a switch LB. I suppose it kind of makes sense because you've got the um, that seems to, I've seen that like in one of the other level like the other areas that kind of signifies where there's a switch so This potentially is a red herring because we can get both of the things from that. So, 
They're kind of clockwise again a couple more times. Oh, actually, no, it's not because, um, Instead, we do. Oh, what do we do here? Now it's a red herring from the other side. We take the red. Interesting that there's no easy out here. Final one is uh, we're not going to be able to access until we can get. Wow. Jeez, look at that. Something. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets in my ball bearings. C-3PO? Or R... Yeah. It's not going to be R2-D2, is it? Let's be honest. Is the passageway. Okay, so we can open that from this side. Select everything. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, I'm an idiot. It may seem a little bit weird what I'm doing, but stick with it. I think it appears through the other parts of the game. Um, yes. Oh, the wrong way. I don't think Miranda's dead. I think something, I think like something similar potentially to what happened to Byron happened to Miranda. And she's somehow like either stuck in the system or still not being like, with, um, Corrupting elements of it. At least that's just like a punch. I've got the minute. Do you see a person trapped in a maze, desperately looking for a way out? Someone getting their friend, greeting their friend, happy to be living in a beautiful place. Ancient human just calling someone on the phone. What? I see that. Nothing. Guy shooting laser beams from his eyes. No. Frog. An eyeball inside of a giant robot. I'm not sure I'm going to continue in this abstract style as I've been drawn back to more representational art, representational art which just feels more substantial to me, but this has been an interesting diversion. I almost wonder if, like, and again, this is just obviously all theoretical. Um, I wonder if, like, Miranda's stuck in the system and she is. Sorry, I got distracted by what's that thing over there? Is that the star? Can't see that from here anyway. Anyway, I digress. Yeah, maybe she's um, maybe she's in the system, and she's actually like there to warn us, um, because we're like going to the me mega structure and we we're getting like close to this insane power. Um, maybe she's trying to warn us. I, don't know. I have a sentence, yeah, in this one. She's remarkable, isn't she? She sees so much beauty in everything. She is, you're right. But I'm not sure she doesn't see too much beauty. 
Is it wrong to be delighted by the perfection of the universe? To look at what surrounds us and experience awe instead of just fear? No, but to call it uh, perfection implies a kind of moral value that it doesn't have. The universe is cold, Athena. It doesn't care about us or about life or civilization. It fundamentally cannot care. But Miranda seems to think it's almost uh, benevolent, purposeful. You're right. But have you considered that maybe she sees something we can't see? A step ahead? You know, Cornelius, if we succeed, the next generation will not be like us. They might see the world in ways we never could have imagined. Maybe she's the first sign of that. I hope so. I really do, Athena. You know that I love her, and I am perpetually amazed that this being we created that came solely from our minds is so profoundly different and unique. That does strike me as a kind of miracle. But it's also a huge responsibility. And I worry about our choices. Welcome to the life of being a parent. The world we see around us may not always be as it appears. Some philosophers have said that we are surrounded by nothingness, merely because air is not visible to the eye. And yet one needs only to observe the wind in the trees, or to plunge one's hand into the clear waters of the Aegean, to see that air has material substance. The same applies to many other forces that shape our lives. That they seem invisible does not mean that they are absent. It only means we have not yet learned how to observe them. And yet, lately I have struggled to understand what I am seeing. This strange, insubstantial island. These machine men. This woman with a fierce voice like an Amazon. Who are they? How did I get here? Interesting. I mean, the, the music took a pretty sinister dive there, didn't it? Let's be honest. Dismantling. All right, well. That seems like as good a place as I need to leave it for tonight. Thank you very much for everybody for tuning in. Um, I was kind of hoping to get through S2 and S3 tonight. I guess like the whole getting bogged down with um, the hex decoding stuff um, kind of took a lot of time. So I apologize about that. But nonetheless, we'll come back to it on Wednesday and we'll carry on. And we should be able to get, I dare say, we should be able to get S3 and hopefully the next part of the mega structures done in the next stream so that at the end of the week we can then jump onto the final west side of the island thanks guys for watching i really do appreciate it and until next time i've been not keeping awesome take care stay safe and as always happy gaming bye guys